so if you have some experience using Arduinos, Arduinos, you might know that some of the digital pins, that is 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11, they have some special marks before them, either tilde or asterisk, asterisk or anything like that. You could see here. So, and it's written that they are called PWM pins. And what are these pins? So, are they different from the other pins? Or is it just for a name? Let's try to explore into PWM pins. So to know further about PWM pins, let's first check if there is any difference between PWM pins and the other pins. So what we are going to do is we'll run a basic program, a basic example program given in the Arduino software. So I'm selecting fade. So it's basically a program which orders a LED to fade in and out. Fade in and out. So so they as they have told to connect LED to the ninth pin, and ninth pin, as you can see, is a PWM pin. So let's do that. So I have connected a resistor to the ninth pin and from the resistor to the LED and to the, from the LED to the ground. So let's upload the program. It's taking a while. Done uploading. So you could see what's happening. The LED is doing just what we told it to do. It's fading. Yeah, it's fading on and off. But not just that, it's having a transition in between from bright to low and to bright. So now let's make a bit changes in the program. So instead of pin 9, now I will change it to another pin. Another pin which is not a PWM pin say 8 and now let us see what will happen okay in the meanwhile we'll change the arrangement a bit So now I connected the resistor to the 8th pin. Okay. Now there is a lot of difference. Okay, it's doing the same thing but there is no transition in between. Just two digital states of either on or off no transition in between so that's something interesting and it shows that PWM pins does have something different from the other pins let's try to learn more so we learn more about PWM it's quite good to know a bit about analog and digital signals so what are analog signals they 
are nothing but signals which can take any value of voltage between the maximum and the minimum voltage so say the maximum voltage is 4 and the minimum voltage is 0 it can take any value between 0 and 4 so as time varies you could see that as it likes it could take any value value and what does that mean if we connect uh, a, vol a voltage sig signal or analog signal to a LED bulb and if the voltage is 1 of maximum 4 that means the vo LED bulb will, will glow with 1 by 4th the maximum brightness so if the voltage varies like this you could pretty much see the LED bulb fading as we saw in the example of PWM pins connected with the LEDs and what are digital signals again we have a graph of voltage and time and in this case uh, the signal varies between 4 and 0 but it can't take any value between 0 and 4 either only 0 or 4 either on or off those are digital signals so you might wonder okay we saw the example of P PWM pins and also other pins which are not PDM PWM and those pins just blinked and if we connect this digital signal to a LED bulb it will it will be much the output will be much like the non PWM pins so you might wonder that PWM pins give us analog signals and the other ones give us digital signals but actually it's not like that the thing is Arduino cannot gi give us output analog cannot give us analog signals as output they can only take analog signals as input and the pins we used those pins 0 to 1 we used those were digital pins that means they could only take in inputs in digital form and give out signals in digital form then how did the LED show a fade As how did that transition come in I will explain but before that it's good to know some basic terms related to digital pin digital signals so if the maximum voltage is 6 and minimum is 0 or it can be anything we could simple, simply write V max and V min so this this voltage difference between the maximum and minimum that's called amplitude and from this point the cycle starts and it goes and comes here this time let's call it T is called time period there is an another very important uh, term related to digital signals that is duty cycle and duty cycle is nothing but percentage of, ti percentage of time signal is on what does that mean if we have a digital signal on off on off we know a cycle starts here it goes here and it ends here and let's say this is the time period t of this t if 80% of the time 80% of the time it is on and 20% of the time it is off we say the duty cycle is 80% it's simple as that so what's the use of this let's let me give me an let, let me give another example suppose uh, time period t is 10 second Ten second and the voltage v max and zero so of that one cycle 
8 seconds the signal is on and for 2 seconds the signal is off then duty cycle is 80% so what's the use of this uh, if the time period is 10 10 seconds and if we give a duty cycle of 80% we will see the light on for 8 seconds and off for 2 seconds but still we don't have a fading light right so what's the use of this one another thing which I would like you to notice is that duty cycle is pretty much what we call as pulse width for example if the time time period is t let's say the time period is 5 second and we draw a graph between voltage and time period now in the time 5 second we will have one cycle right one cycle so if the duty cycle is 20 percent it will look something like this 20 percent if it's 50 percent it will be more if it's 100 percent it will look something like this that means for a given time period as the duty cycle increases the width of the pulse increases or pulse width increases so that's where the word pulse width comes in now let's see what's the application of this pulse width modulation or what's the use of changing the duty cycle or modulating the pulse width so what's our aim basically we have a maximum voltage and a minimum voltage and now we can only take any of these values nothing in between and what we want is we want to have the effect of a voltage in between uh, that would correspond to a brightness in between the maximum and minimum voltage a brightness which is neither maximum nor minimum that is something in between we want to achieve that using just these two now how will we do that by our intuition let's say we have 10 seconds and if 5 seconds it is on and 5 seconds it is 5 seconds it is off what does that mean duty cycle is 50 percent in theory we could say that the effect is apparently in between the maximum and minimum voltage but still we could not perceive it because we will see a light which is on for 5 seconds then off for 5 seconds we don't see a brightness difference but as the time period decreases something else happens due to persistence of vision we our eyes easily gets fooled and it can it cannot per perceive uh, two distinct lights but it will actually see a mix of both these on and off to give us a 50 percent brightness and this is basically what pwm pins do they simply give a uh, they simply give an output signal according to the in according to the pro program we write and it has very precise methods of giving the exact duty cycle we want so pwm pins could do that while the other pins cannot let's see how the uh, the pro how the program we wrote for the fade of the led works simply we have a statement analog right uh, 8 comma 255 this is the statement we had in the program so what does this mean now write means we are asking the Arduino to give us an output if it were 
if we needed if we were putting in an input we would have wrote analog read not analog read read and what is this analog stands for actually we are expecting an analog analog effect right though arduino gives us a digital output we are expecting an analog result so we write imply that through analog analog write and what is this stands for this is simply the pin number in the arduino and this this is the duty cycle okay not exactly the duty cycle cycle it doesn't mean 255 percentage or something simply it corresponds to the duty cycle zero means zero percent duty cycle and 255 means 100 percent duty cycle and anything in between according linearly varies so we have the basic program so what happened in our program for the fading of the LED so we had analog right 9 comma some duty cycle cycle we want so what this what this statement in the program does is it basically tells to the 9th pin hey pin we want an output we want an output with the duty cycle anything we mention here so suppose we mention 255 that means hey pin 9 we need an output with duty cycle 100 percent so in the program we gradually change this value so we tell to the ninth pin we need 0 percent duty cycle we need 20 percent duty cycle 60 percent duty cycle 80 percent 100 percent and ninth pin being a pwm pin could do each of these pretty well it is this pin is capable of giving us each of these duty cycles so first when we ask it to give a zero percent duty cycle it will give us zero volt and the maximum is five volt for Arduino, it's five volt and for everything in between it gradually increases but in the case of known pwm pins say eight we write analog right 8 comma some value so what happens again we tell it to give us 0 percent duty cycle 20 percent duty cycle 30 percent 80 percent 100 percent so first we tell it to give us a duty cycle of 100 percent and it could do that it will happily give us a zero voltage then we ask us ask it to give it give us 20 percent duty cycle now starts the problem because this is not a pwm pin it is not capable of giving us a duty cycle of 20 percent so it cannot do anything it's helpless it simply remains zero volt here we ask it to give us hey give us 30 percent duty cycle sorry it simply can't so again it remains zero volt and 80 percent same case it can't and finally when we ask it for 100 percent this is something which it could give it could give zero and 100 per zero percent and 100 percent so here it could easily give it so it gives us the 5 volt as expected so this is how the pwm pins works I hope you understood a bit more about PWM pins.